a car out of one. I pray this devil died and did every evil thing the Lord got to get. And listen, I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Call me out, Call me out, Call me out, I know you look at us in the state we in right now, black people on drugs, and we suffering and dying. And I know it seems like you can do whatever you want to this people. I know it seems like this, but the time for glorifying yourself is soon at an end. Marvin's interested. He is a give me Revelations 13, 9 and 10. Hey brother, ain't no sweat. Leave it on the ground, man. Leave it right on the ground. You know why? That symbolism for where the white man belongs. Under your feet. Because in America today, you under his feet. He able to go to the moon because your family picked cotton and got lynched and hung and raped. And he got the greatest country on earth because he stomped you into the ground. Hey, may I? And God is gonna come one day, brother. And he gonna put this white man in the ground for the crimes of his father. Give me Revelations 13, nine and 10. This is the second time you went somewhere else. So your chances are up. Three, Revelation chapter 13, verse nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Those of you who can't understand, Listen closely. Read. He that leadeth into captivity. He that what? Leadeth into captivity. He that do what? Leadeth into captivity. Go ahead. Shall go into captivity. That's justice. May I? And America I? led black people into captivity. May I? May I? So for me to forget, no, you may not. So for me to move on and forget, you got to give me 400 years of slavery. You got to go pick my cotton. You got to shine my shoes. And you got to let my people whip your, you back up and put your hand back over there. I don't trust you. Back up. Back up. You back up. Back up. Listen, somebody call the white man to put this white devil in chains, man. Read again. He that looted. The last race of people that shook the white man's hands live on reservations today. I ain't shaking your damn hand. Y'all take this for a damn joke. I don't. ISIS cut the head off your reporter and your president is going to bomb the Iraqis today. Meanwhile, Michael Brown's body lay in the street for six damn hours. You shot him in the head four times and tell me to forget. I wish I had predator drones to rain bombs on you. I wish I had tanks and a military to put you all to death for what you did. But I don't. I don't. So I got to go get God and pray to God that he put you to death for the crimes of your fathers. No, you may not. I don't shake hands with criminals. I'm not a criminal. You got looted into captivity shall go into captivity. That's justice. The Bible said, he that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. If you do the crime, you must do the time. Me personally, what have I done to you? You receive stolen goods. You receive stolen goods. These black people in America today are the children of the people your father stole. That stolen property. You damn right, your fathers. Your fathers are criminals. The founding fathers, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, they're all criminals, man. You're Lebanese. Listen, them, them people in the Middle East right now, they are the descendants of Alexander the Greek. You ain't no damn Arab. You ain't no Lebanese. The Greek Empire conquered every major empire in that region. There are all white people over there. Them shoots in Saudi Arabia, there's all white people. Them people in Egypt, they're all white people. You white devils run the earth. It's time for you to get justice. Read again. 
We that live into captivity shall go into captivity. He Read again. He that lives into captivity shall go into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. The Bible says, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. And white people have killed black people and benefited from it. You benefited from our murder. You benefited from enslaving us. And you want to shake my hand? You can shake the hands of every Uncle Tom Negro that your fathers oppressed. But me and my brothers, we are going to... Well, if you from Lebanon, what's your damn beef? What's your beef? You see how the white man is a liar? He said, why am I charging white people? As if he is white. Now you say you Lebanese. Yes. Well, if you Lebanese, oh, yeah, I ain't charging the Lebanese. American. I am charging Caucasian oh, people. Yeah, I am charging all you Caucasian oh, devils that murdered my people. No, you don't. You come out the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. The white man is the original caveman. You don't even know your damn history. Your white man is the caveman. If you apologize, you will do what God said. Let's do what God said. Let's do what God said. Let's do what God said. You're trying to be peaceful or else what? Or else what? I don't respect you trying to be peaceful. What I respect is black people ruling over this earth and having white people as slaves. That's justice. And it's in the Bible because it's in the Bible because it's in the Bible. Read it again. Get that on camera. He said because it's in the Bible, it doesn't make it right. You see, you see the result of slavery? You see the result of what your people did? This brother said, it's in the Bible, it don't got to be right. God is going to roll through here and kill you white devils and all you Uncle Toms, man. Read again. Who that lead into captivity shall go into captivity. Hear that what? Who that into captivity shall go into captivity. The Bible said he that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. So if Bob's foreparents did not have slaves, what the hell is he worried about? His people didn't put me, my people in captivity. So what the hell, what are you worried about? Read again. He that lives into captivity shall go into captivity. Hey brother, don't sweat that man. Leave that on the ground. Leave that on the ground. Leave that on the ground. You're preaching hate. Leave that on the ground. Read again. He that lives into captivity shall go into captivity. Say that again, brother. He's not talking about the past. It's talking about the Exactly. If they're allowed to remember 9-11, shouldn't I remember my people? You went and hunted Osama bin Laden. When you killed him, white people were swinging from the poles. You celebrated murdering bin Laden. Why didn't you go and let bin Laden and forgive him? Why didn't you forgive bin Laden? Why did you not forgive bin Laden? No, answer that. Why did you not forgive bin Laden? Why did you not forgive Bin Laden? And I'm telling you your future. You are going to be a slave. That's right. Really? That's right. How about how about this piece on my plantation when I knock? Get in that field and pick that cotton. How about that piece? Bob, go clean the horse stables. Bob, where's my cotton? How about that, that piece? Read it again. Who that lives into captivity shall go into captivity. It's simple. It's simple. Yes. 
because you will never get it until you end up in chains. Thank you, sis. Until you end up in chains, you will never get it. And we pray that God brings justice on all of white America and white the world for what you have done to black people. Read again. He that lives into captivity shall go into captivity. Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword. He that what? Killeth with the sword. He that what? Killeth with the sword. Didn't the white man come over here and slaughter the native Indians and steal this land? Yes, Read again. Yes, he that killeth with the sword. What I'm saying isn't hate. But what you did to the native Indians is hate. You killed them with the sword and never paid for it. You dropped bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki and never paid for it. Your government in the 1930s knowingly infected 600 black men with the syphilis virus in Tuskegee. And you should pay for it. Read again. We are killed with the sword must be killed with the sword you no no so what's your point what's your point so what you say because it's so long you shouldn't be brought to justice i'm listening i'm listening I'm not looking back. Yeah, you are. You just said revelation is the future. I'm looking at the future. I'm reading about the future. And the future of America is fire and brimstone from God. Read again. He then may the wrath and may the wrath and the sharp tip of, of Christ's sword go through your lying mouth. Read again. He that kill him with the sword. You love me, but God hates you. Read again. He that kill him with the sword Go ahead. must be killed with the sword. He that kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. I didn't kill the sword. Listen. Well, well, talk to God about it. I ain't writing this. Well, listen, you better hope he listening to you. You better hope he listening to you. You better hope he listening to you. I'm going to deal with him after. That's fine. I'm going to answer his question after. But listen, listen, I know you got to go. And this is what I'm telling you. You see Washington Fitness Center right there? Go get a membership. Get fit, because slavery is hard work. Next question. Smart manhood. Hey, black women, y'all got to wake the fuck up. Some of y'all.